Hi guys, it's Brett from Wicked Industries Custom Shop. Today I want to show a few little tricks and tips that I use when I'm building my adjustable control arms. So if you want to build your own, you want to see what goes into them and, um, and some of the helpful little tips that I can, I can help you out with, sit back and watch the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys. tip I've got, you, got for you today is obviously when we're using adjustable rod ends every time you turn the end of the rod it adjusts the length of the, um, the control arm so it's important when you're actually setting your arms up that when the adjustable end is um, is completely bottomed out that it's in the same orientation as your fixed end or if you're using both ends adjustable wind them both in so they they bottom out and make sure that they're both orientated the same way because if you've got one one like this and the other ones like that when you straighten it up so it lines up with your brackets you're going to adjust the length of the control arm so generally what we're doing we're, we're using the same length of tube so we want to make sure that these are going to be exactly the same length when they're in the same orientation so the way I do that basically put it in bottom it out on the thread or if you've got a fixed end put it in get the other end bottom it all the way out so it won't screw in anymore and then sight through and line the two up for orientation. That's when you can start to weld them after that. Once you've got the orientation right, proceed to welding. But if you've got it a little bit off like that, once you adjust, adjust your, um, your rod end, you're gonna change the length. So that's the important part. That's the point I wanted to make today. Now that we've got all our our, um, our arms put together and we've sighted through and made sure that our, our rod ends are all orientated the same when they're bottomed out, I'm gonna go through and weld them up now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld all these little plug holes on each side there, weld all these, all these, all these, and then I'll come back to the first one. What that does is it allows the um, the rod end and the, uh, the tube adapter to get a bit of heat into it to basically preheat it before I actually weld right around that seam there. So let's get to it and um, weld them all up. <laughs> 